Hello everybody, it's me, Charlotte, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the basic granny square, only this is going to be for absolute beginners. Um, I had posted a video a few days ago on the basic granny square, and I think I was just a little too fast, or maybe not everyone got it, so I thought this one I'm going to go extra slow, absolute beginners, basic granny square. Um, I really want everyone to be able to get this concept, know how to crochet this granny square, because like I said in my other video, it goes very fast, it's very nice, it's fun, um, it can be a blanket, it can be, I mean, there's so many things you can do with just knowing how to crochet the basic granny square. So like I said, this is going to be for absolute beginners, so it's going to be slow, and if you already know how to do this, you're probably not going to want to watch this video. I understand. It's okay. Before we get into it, though, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking and commenting and sharing my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. All right. Basic granny square crocheting absolute beginners. You need to start with a slip knot. You only need about six inches of yarn before you make your slip knot. Um, it's just enough to weave in the ends at the end when you're done. So you want to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, like I said, all I do is take my yarn, wrap it around my finger twice, take this back piece, bring it to the front, take what's now the back piece, and take it all the way off my finger, insert my crochet hook, and give it a little tug. Don't want it too tight, enough that this slides around still. You can turn it. Now, all you want to do is chain four. So, grab your yarn, pull it through that loop. That's one. Grab some more yarn, pull it through that loop. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Okay, so now we have four chains. This is the front of our chain. This is the back of our chain. You have humps on the back of the chain. You have one, two, three, and four humps. All you want to do is take your crochet hook, insert it into that very last hump, or the first one you made, grab some yarn, pull it through that hump. Now, pull your work apart a little bit so you can stick your finger in that hole. There'll be a thread right above your finger. Now you want to take that loop that's right here on your hook and bring it through. Okay, so now we have a nice hole in the center. That's what we're going to be working in. Here's our tail yarn. What I like to do is flip it in the back, pick up my working yarn, grab that tail yarn again, Bring it down. You're kind of wrapping it around your working yarn. You want to then just kind of hold it with that loop that you made, that hole you made. You just kind of want to kind of hold it there with it because you're going to work over it so it kind of like hides it for you. Now, to begin, we have a nice hole we're going to be working into. Now you want to chain three. So grab some working yarn with your hook, bring it through that loop that was on your hook. That's one two, three. Now that's going to count as a double crochet. This chain three is going to count as a double crochet. You need to now make two more double crochet. So you want to take your hook, pick up some yarn. So we're just going to take our hook, bring it under our working yarn, bring it up. Now we're going to take our hook and put it in the center of that hole we made. You want to go under, you want to go into that hole and put your tail yarn on top of your hook as well because we're going to kind of crochet over our tail yarn. Pick up some more yarn, bring it through that hole. So now we have three loops on our hook one, two, and three. Pick up some more yarn, working yarn, pull it through two of those loops, pick up some more working yarn, and bring it through the last two of the loops that were on our hook. Now we have two double crochet, because remember this chain three counts as a double crochet. Now we're going to pick up some more yarn. We need to make one more double crochet. 
pick up more yarn, go into that hole that we made, make sure our tail yarn is over the hook as well, <clears throat> pick up some more working yarn, bring it through that hole. We now have three hoops, three loops on our hook. Pick up some more working yarn, go through the first two, pick up some more working yarn, and go through the last two. So now we have three double crochet. We have one, which is our chain that counts as a double crochet, two and three. So now what you want to do is you want to chain two. So one, two. Now you want to pick up some more working yarn because we're going to make three more double crochet into this hole. So we pick up some more working yarn, go into that hole, and over, make sure our tail yarn is over that hook as well, pick up some yarn, pick up more yarn, go through the two, go through two. That's double crochet. Pick up some more yarn, go through that hole, pick up more yarn, go through two, go through two. That's two double crochet, one, two. Again, pick up some working yarn, go through that hole, pick up some working yarn, bring it through that hole, pick up working yarn, go through two, pick up some working yarn, go through the last two. That's three double crochet. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. Again, three more double crochet are going to go into this hole. We want four sets of three. So we have one, two, we need two more sets of three. <clears throat> so we're going to make three more double crochet. So to make a double crochet, we pick up some working yarn, go through that hole, bring it up, go through two, go through two. It's one, two, three. Okay? So now we're going to chain two. You want to chain two after three double crochet. Okay? Again, we're going to make three more double crochet. This will be our last set of three. You can kind of scoot your work over if you need to. Three more double crochet. One, two, three. Now we need to close this gap. See, we have one set of three, two set of three, three set of three, and here's our fourth set of three. Now we need to close this gap to join it to here. To do that, what we're going to do is we're only going to chain one this time. Everywhere else we chain two. When we go to uh, join to this one, we're only going to chain one. Okay, now we're going to find the top of this chain three. So here's the one chain we made, two chains we made, here's the third chain we made, or the very top of that chain three we made in the beginning. You want to take your hook, we only chained one, we're going to go right into the top of that chain three. So there's the first leg of the chain three, here's the second. We're going to grab some working yarn and pull it through. We have two hoops on our hook, and we're going to grab some more working yarn and pull through both. Okay? Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to turn our work. Okay. Now you can see here we have one. We have like a little square. We have holes in each corner of our square. Okay? Now we need to chain, or we need to double crochet into this corner that's right below the chain three we just made. You want to make sure that the corner hole is separated by three double crochet. And what I mean by that is we have a set of three here, one, two, three, and we have a set of three here, one, two, three. But as you can see, sometimes this one kind of wants to kind of scoot over, so you have a hole here and a hole here. Just make sure that they're divided equally, and there's three here 
and three here. And this is gonna be the hole we're gonna be working into. We already have our chain three, which counts as a double crochet. So we're gonna do two more double crochet right here in this hole. So you wanna yarn over and do two double crochets. There's one. And there's two. Okay? So we have three now because this chain three counts as a double crochet. Now we're gonna skip over these three and we're gonna just work right here in this next corner. To do that, we're just gonna do three double crochet. So yarn over, put your hook, hook through that hole, bring up a loop, go through two, go through two. Again, two more. Okay, now we have that. We have our three double crochet in this corner. But because we're on a corner, we kind of just did this side, we need to kind of make it wrap around to go on this side. So we need to chain two, one, two, and we need to put three more double crochet in that same hole that we just worked into. So we're gonna yarn over and do three double crochet. There's one, There's two, and here's our third. Okay, so now we have six total double crochet in this corner divided by a chain two. Again, we wanna go to our next corner. So we're gonna do three double crochet in this corner on this side of the corner. So three double crochet, there's one, Oops, there's two, and here's three. We made three double crochet in the next hole. Now you wanna chain two because we need to turn. So we're gonna chain two, one, two, and this is only for the corners. And we're gonna put three more double crochet in that same corner. So one, two, three. Okay, so now we have our six double crochet here divided by a chain two, three here and three here. So now we need to work into this corner. So we're gonna put three double crochet on this side of the corner. One, two, and three. We're gonna chain two, because we're in a corner, and we're gonna work on this side of the corner. So we need another three double crochet. So one, two, three. Okay, now we're working on our last corner. And remember I said how this last one, this last double crochet, it kind of wants to stay away from the other two. You just want to make sure they're in a group of three. Okay, see, I have one, two, kind of a hole, and then this one right here, that was our chain three, and it kind of just wants to stay on its own. Just make sure that it's scooted in with the rest of them. And now we have our last corner. We've already done the three in this last corner. We need to do three more and then we need to connect it. So we're gonna yarn over and do three double crochet in our last corner. Oops. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, so you can see in this corner we have three double crochet on this side, a chain two, and three double crochet on this side. That's how all our corners go. In our last corner, we already, in the very beginning, we made our three double crochet. That's the first thing we did for this side of the corner. Now we had to make three double crochet for this side of the corner. It still needs to be divided by a chain one though, not a chain two, just a chain one, and that's only when connecting to the other side. So we're gonna chain one, 
We're going to find the top of that chain three, just like we did on the first round. If you look at the braids, you can see the braids. We have one, two, and three. That's the top of our chain three right there. You guys see it? All you want to do is you made your chain one, and now you want to go into the top of that chain three. So there's the first leg of the braid. There's the second leg of the braid. Oops, I missed it. First leg of the braid. And the second leg of that braid. So you want to go through under both of those parts of the braid. You want to bring up some of your yarn. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pick up some working yarn, and go through both. Okay? And now you're connected. Now you want to chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work. And again, we're going to have our three double crochet on this side. One, two, three, a hole, and three double crochet on this side. Now what you want to do is make sure that you're in the right hole. Make sure you have three here and three here. And you want to work right into that hole underneath the chain. The chain three counts as one double crochet. You need to make two more. We're making one half of our corner. So we chained our three. Now we're going to do a double crochet and another double crochet. Okay, so we got one half of our corner done on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to find our next hole, and it's going to be right here in the middle and between these three double crochets. So all we do is find our next hole and we'll put three double crochets into that next hole. So you go one, two, and three. Now, because it's not a corner, we don't have to chain anything or do anything. This is on the straight edge of our granny square. It's just a hole. We just put in three double crochet. Here's our corner. The corners are where we're going to do our three double crochet. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to chain our two. One, two. And then we're going to put three more double crochet in that same corner. One, two, three. Only in the corners do we do the three double crochet, the chain two, and the three double crochet. When we're working along the flat side of our granny square and we come across a hole, we only put in three double crochets. That's all you do. You just double crochet three times into that same hole. So there is one, there's two, and there's three. And then you find your next corner. And the next corner, what do we do, guys? We double crochet three times into that corner. One, two, and three. Because we're on a corner, we're going to chain two, one and two, and put three more double crochets into that corner. See how those three double crochets works on this side? We chained our two to kind of turn, and now we need three double crochets for this side in the corner. So, same corner, same hole, three more double crochet. One, two, and three. Now we come across our next hole. It's on the flat side. All you want to do is put in three double crochets in there. One, two, three, and then we're back at a corner, which is going to be three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Now you can see as we're working along, we'll look on this side that we've already done. See how now we have two holes on this flat edge? So when we come across here, we're going to do our corner like we normally do, which is a three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Then we're going to move into this hole right here, and that's just going to be three double crochet. Then we're going to move to this hole right here, which is only going to be three double crochet. And then we meet another corner, and our corners are three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And that's how you want to keep working it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video real quick. I'm going to work up to here, and I'm going to show you how we join again, and then we turn our work and start a new round. Um, 
Right now I'm working on a corner. So remember corners are just three double crochet. One, two, three. We're in a corner, so we chain two. One, two. Now we put three more double crochet in that corner. One, two, and three. And now we're on a flat side. I'm not going to pause the video. I'll just keep rolling with it. We're on the flat side, so we're just going to do three double crochet in that hole. One, two, and three, and now we're back to our corner. Remember, we already did our one set of three for this corner, so we just need to do one more set of three. So we're gonna yarn over and do our set of three, double crochets, one, two, and three. Now when we join, when we finish up our round, we only chain one, Find the top of that chain three. We're gonna go into both. I like going under both legs of that braid, that top braid. We're gonna bring up some yarn, yarn over and go through both loops. We're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. Turn our work. Make sure you have three double crochet on this side three double crochet on this side and a hole in the middle and you're going to do two double crochet. One and two and that's because that chain three we made in the beginning is going to count as a double crochet. Now we're back working on the flat side of our square. We have two holes here and a corner. We're going to put three double crochet in this hole, three double crochet in this hole, and then we're gonna work our corner. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And that's it. You keep working around and around and around until it's big enough and you're done. Um, so that's it. That's the slowed down version for absolute beginners. I hope it was slow enough. I hope this video was a little bit better than the last one for the beginners and you guys kind of understand it a little more. If not, I shall try again. Just let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. Until next time, guys, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day, and happy crocheting. Bye.